Hello everyone and how is it going today? I'm going to be looking at the Rune Factory 5 Premium Box Set and also some other pre-purchase options available in Japan. Let's get started. So first up here we have the Rune Factory 5 Premium Box Set. It costs 9,980 yen. For people in the US, 100 yen is about $1, so it's about $100. Let's look at what's inside the set. There's the base game, the box itself with its original artwork, an art book with around 60 pages, and a memorial sound selection. So a CD with 15 tracks. And also it comes with a download code for unique outfits for your character. And these are based on Rune Factory 4 characters, I believe. The base game in Japan also is selling for 6,980 yen. So it's about a 3,000 yen difference. But there's a lot of things inside the premium set. You have the CD, the artwork, the original box, and also unique outfits for your character. So it's definitely something that collectors would be interested in. I myself like these kind of art books a lot. So even for the art book itself, paying an extra 3,000 yen seems worth it. Let's look at some of the other options available from stores in Japan. So on top of the base game or the premium box set, a lot of stores in Japan also are offering various other pre-order options. So these are a list of all the stores with different options. As you can see, there's a big long list here. So I'm going to go through them and look and see what they are offering. First up is Animate. It's a popular manga, drawing, kind of yeah, like anime kind of related store in Japan. So this comes, this is one of the options that they are offering. So as we can see here, they have one option that has four tin badges that you can get with it. Another one has a poster, a clear file, and an acrylic key holder. Six set. So these must be the key holders down here. I think this is the poster. This is probably the clear file. So Amazon Japan also has their own offer. So they have swimwear for the main characters. Some unique artwork, I think three three different kinds of artwork. And eight postcards. These are the postcards. And another part, so this is Amazon only set. So you can get a summer blanket, long tin badges. I'm not sure if these are all shown here. And also a key holder, unique key holder. So lots of different options here. One thing to keep in mind though is that while these do have lots of different options, they also add to the price. The base game is... which one is the base game? So yeah, the base game is like we said before, around the 6980 but not it's plus tax, so that's probably why the price is a little bit higher, but these are the special editions, so you can get artwork and postcards with it, and it adds a little bit more to the price. 
and then adding this one I think has, is it the premium box? I think it has even more. It has the swimwear uh, item set for the character, the premium box, and, lot, and I think the other things as well. Yeah, so it's a thing to keep in mind that the prices do get affected by the goods that they offer. <laughs> For example, you have a store here called Ami Ami. And it's offering two original acrylic badges. But since it's only these two items, it doesn't add too much to the price. So the base, and then with it, it adds about 700 yen or so to it. Next up, let's look at Eon. So it's a file. It has a file, like a, yeah, a file that you can get with it. <laughs> Nothing too much. I don't know how much it adds to the price. Doesn't look like it's jumping to the store page right away. Next up is an interesting option. So this one is an original tissue and mask case. Very 2020 of it. I guess you can put some tissues and your mask inside of it to carry around or like spare masks or something. It's interesting. Let's look at Ebi 10. So an original B3 size tapestry. So tapestry is like, yeah, a cloth thing that you can hang on the wall. B3 size is, here we have the sizes, 36 centimeters by 51 centimeters or 14 by 20 inches or so. A calendar, an acrylic stand. One of these again, prom Promido. So Promido is like just an original artwork kind of thing. These are what Promido are like, evidently. So I think they're just a new, unique uh, Japanese thing that has, I guess, artwork or something. A certain, certain type of material. A little bit different than I think the postcards because those are a different kind of things than like the Amazon pack. But something similar to kind of that. And this also has a unique crystal set that's available. So 3D crystal, let's take a look at that. Yeah, so this one, this price is going up quite a bit, probably because the crystal inside of it, it's 1,000, or 19,228 yen, so around $200. But you get the original tapestry, the calendar, they're still getting it prepared, an acrylic stand that's also being prepared, original artwork and the 3D crystal so it's going to be a crystal kind of engraved inside of here and then you can light it up of Priscilla and that's along with the base so $100 on top of the the base premium box and you can get these other extra items.
I guess for people that are big fans of the game, these are unique things that probably won't be able to get later on. Next up is Gamers. They have a B2 tapestry, so a little bit larger. 20 by 28 inches or 51 by 72 centimeters. This is the tapestry. Long width, what else do they have? Acrylic figure. Key holder. And a microfiber tall. Like a small microfiber tall, I believe. What else we have? Gale, which is a game store in Japan. And they have a unique swimsuit. Another unique swimsuit from Distort, Joshin. I'm not too familiar with it, but another one there. A tin badge from the store. Another tapestry. Original postcard. A poster, a cloth poster. I guess a cloth poster is also kind of similar to a tapestry. More unique swimsuits. Acrylic key holders. More swimsuits. And also, what are these? Magnet clips. Interesting. Original files. Wonder Goo. What are they offering? Original acrylic key holders. Tapestry. Acrylic stand. Rubber mat. An acrylic key holder. This must be the rubber mat. It's another unique tapestry they're offering. So yes, lots lots of different options for potentially additional goods if <laughs> for people that are interested in these type of things. Each of the store really has unique options available. This is all on top of the base options that you can get for the game. But that's everything for this video. So yeah, these were the unique options in Japan for pre-ordering the game. Thank you for watching and I hope to see you next time.